Well, it's always good coming outside because you have the air, um, a lot of space, um, a better surface. So, you know, better, a lot of, it's, it's a lot uh, more energy when the guys come outside. I think uh, for the most part, uh, our players are excited about being out here. Bottom line, when you're playing on your home field where you play your games, you know, I think that helps our young men get um, amped up, you know, a little bit more. But, um, you know, it's, it's a good thing, it's a great thing. It's good to be out here in the cold because I think being in the cold allows them to have mental toughness. They have to be able to deal with the, the elements. Um, and, and that's one thing that our, our team needs to continue to get better on is the mental toughness and the mental focus. What you would like to see um, in your players is you want to see guys that are football players. You don't want to see a guy that can just play one position. I mean, that's, 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 you know, that's cool, but you want to see a guy that can do multiple things. And then you want a competitor. You know, you want a guy that, every, I mean, he's just chomping at the bit, you know. Every time he has an opportunity, um, takes advantage of it. Coach Haynes sets the expectation, and what he said was high energy, you know. And when you got young players, you know, you want them to know, even though, you know, sometimes you have to um, correct them, um, you want them to know that you believe in them. And part of that is just going behind them with encouraging words and, you know, um, sometimes, it, you know, you have to coach them a little tough and whatnot, but it's all about your energy. And at each position, I really feel like these players, they really feed off of each um, coach. My coaching philosophy is called just being first time final. And what that really means is as you're teaching a young man, if you want them to play fast, for it to be simple, first time final means when, when it's taught, it's taught properly, correctly, and they understand exactly what's expected of them. Well, with my guys, you know, I have a young group. So I'm trying to bring the knowledge and understanding of the game, teach them the concepts and the fundamentals that I've learned throughout my years and to, to help develop them. Like I said, we're young and uh, I'm starting from ground level with some of those guys, but they're getting better. Uh, but just continue to teach the details that's gonna help them improve because they have some talent and some ability uh, but when you combine knowledge and ability, you can be a pretty good player. It's a perfect drill. It breeds competition. You know, it breeds how you finish, you know. And you want to finish on the winning side versus the losing side, right? And I think our, our young men really get into it, you know, and it's the thing I like about it is that you're out there, it shows you that if you were to carry it over to your game, right? You might be on the backside of a play, but it shows that whatever it is you're doing, it matters, right? So that one guy that's in the circle, him winning, it matters to the rest of the guys on that side of the ball, right? So um, I think it's great. I think it's great. This is a time that we develop our guys, uh, help them understand as a defense what we're trying to, to, to get out of them, understand situational football. And I want my guys to be physical, uh, fast flowing, uh, playing that ball in the air, um, attacking uh, any deep balls. So, you know, I, I want an all around uh, smart, physical, tough player.